So the next uh, behavioral pattern, uh, which uh, sort of like uh, has a pretty interesting impact on flow control inside our application or may have this type of impact, uh, is that, um, again, um, uh, we have uh, potentially, we can have a complex structure uh, of, uh, mm, of objects which have references to one another, right? So, uh, so this is not a class diagram. This is sort of like instances of object in computer memory at runtime. They already created, and many of them have references to one another, right? So one object references another, like this, right? And we can have this maze of references that objects uh, may be aware of one another and may be referencing um, one another and so forth, right? Uh, so, um, so this is a very typical type of arrangement. And um, the, these objects can be uh, sort of like um, unrelated. For instance, for instance, uh, in the um, semester project uh, uh, elevator simulation inside the building, uh, we may have an instance of an elevator bank, right? So this can be our ele elevator bank uh, instance. This can be an elevator, right? Uh, this can be um, a visitor, a visitor to the building. This can be a floor, right? That is uh, uh, basically uh, responsible for uh, holding uh, the visitors while they're you know, visiting uh, the building floor, and so forth. So there could be all kinds of things, uh, and they're really unrelated, right? And at the same time, when we want to, uh, we, when we want to have an idea, uh, an idea of an update, all right, an idea of an update, some sort of update that we want to happen to all of the objects. So uh, occasionally, because this is a dynamic simulation, we want to run some sort of update to all of these objects and possibly others, right, and so forth. Uh, so we want an, an idea of an update possibly from another, you know, instance uh, of uh, some sort of like background thread uh, object or something, all right? But, uh, but we have this um, idea that in order to allow the, these types of updates, what has to happen is that we have to visit each object somehow, right? But the, the same, t so, uh, so we just experienced this, uh, you know, behavior of an iterator, which allows us to basically um, iterate through a collection of elements which is uniform. So they're all sort of like, you know, uh, related, uniform, or perhaps part of the same hierarchy. But in our situation, elevator, floor, visitor, and elevator bank, they're really unrelated, except that they know about each other anytime we want them to, you know, reference one another. But they really, there is no, no any sort of relationship. And definitely, uh, there is, uh, 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 you know, little, um, a little desire on our part to make them, you know, part of the same hierarchy of objects. So therefore, um, the problem is, how could we make it somewhat more uniform in the system to, to, to run updates on every single, uh, you know, object that we want? And how can we keep track of objects that want to be updated? And, and so what we can do uh, in, in this respect, right? So, um, let me just start another instance of this uh, whiteboard thing. Okay, uh, and um, so the idea is this: let's let's basically think about this. So we have uh, we have um, we have different elements, right? Uh, we have elements, uh, and we could possibly think about an interface. Interface. Uh, of the element that needs to uh, that wants to be updated, right? Um, and this element basically um, uh, this interface we could design this interface that um, it can basically accept accept 
some sort of a visitor, right? Visitor or update, uh, updater, right? So we, we in in our you know in the notion of our uh, uh, semester semester long project, we could maybe focus on the idea of uh, uh, an idea of uh, different parts of of building, like uh, for instance, um, and uh, the floor, right? The floor class and the elevator class uh, both can accept a visitor, right? So we could potentially design classes such as floor and elevator to implement this interface, right? We can say they both implement this interface visitor and they can both uh, accept the visitor, okay? So the idea then is that uh, instead of making these objects part of the same hierarchy, maybe we can have we can use element in our system as an interface, right? Um, so the elements are the floors and elevators in the environment of our building structure. Okay, so then we can also have an interface. We can also have an interface. Interface which represents the visitor, right? So we essentially, we said already that we want, uh, uh, we want uh, to, to simulate visitors to our building. And the problem here with, that we're trying to solve is how do we uh, communicate an idea that elevators and floors can accept the visitors? So we create another interface like this, okay? And the visitor, because the visitor uh, obviously needs to be aware of exactly the types of things that they can visit, uh, we can ha visitor can have a method named visit, right? Visit, and we can say visit floor, okay, or visit uh, elevator, okay. So we can we can have uh, both of these, all right. And uh, if we have this second interface, the visitor interface, then we can, from it, we can derive or rather implement this um, uh, this in, in, in interface by, uh, for instance, um, uh, a visitor a visitor who is an, basically an employee. Uh, an employee. Uh, working in the building. It can be a visitor who is a guest, right? So we want different visitors behave differently. We can also have a visitor, uh, visitor who is a maintenance worker, uh, essentially a maintenance uh, a personnel uh, for, uh, for instance, for elevators. And uh, emergency, c c we could play place there as well and we can say you know security personnel so there could be different types of visitors over here okay so which all could implement which all could implement the uh, the the visitor uh, interface right there right and so this um, idea comes uh, uh, to life when we say that um, when the visitor, so so obviously we can be um, we can have uh, a collection of elements, right? So we can have uh, uh, some sort of like array list, right? Array list over here, which holds collection of all elements that the visitors can visit. Okay, and so using this array list. We can basically um, uh, we can basically iterate through this collection through this array list of elements, which of course is the interface, right? Um, and uh, this way we can take a visitor and basically iterating through this collection, say uh, floor accept this visitor or elevator accept this visitor, and we can communicate that a certain visitor wants to visit that a uh, floor or elevator. Right. As a result of it, the floor and elevator may decide to accept the visitor by calling 
uh, visit method and pass themselves to the to the uh, reference to themselves to to each the of the visit calls and of course which will be delegated to a specific type of the visitor and so the visitor gets a chance to communicate with elevators and floors in this manner so we can so this so this is the idea to basically uh, instead of writing additional behaviors uh, related to you know each specific type of visitor, we want to implement this inside the visitor, which is an employee or guest or maintenance, which who all may behave different when they visit floor and elevator and uh, have different agenda and so forth. So therefore, we want to handle visits in these visitors and not in the floor or elevator, which. Uh, which then would require to say, you know, if it's this type of visitor, do one thing. If it's another type of visitor, do another uh, another type of uh, another type of uh, of work. So uh, let's just uh, use this uh, design diagram to quickly put together a demonstration for this visitor design pattern. So again, the idea of the uh, visitor design pattern is that uh, all the elements uh, need to be aggregated into some sort of manageable, you know, accessible collection, right? But they're really uh, unrelated. Just They just will be implementing the interface. So they're really not very much related, uh, um, you know, types of objects. Like floor is very different compared to the elevator class. Right, but at the same time, they can if they just implement the the this element uh, interface, they can be uh, placed in the same collection. And so all it all there needs to be is basically just the the method that says accept the visitor, and when the visitor is uh, is accessed, uh, then they simply call. Uh, the visit method, which will be automatically delegated to specific visitor, and we can write all of the code inside the visitor and handle uh, whatever we want to do, right? So uh, let's just run a quick demonstration for this and uh, see if you uh, may find this helpful uh, in your own design and whatever you do uh, when you write your own code for this for this project.